I read the Carmelite nuns, the Gestapo in drag. <laughs> I went to a school uh, in a little village called Ratfarnham in County Dublin. My first day at school, this convent, long winding driveway up to it. One of those gothic doors, great studs in it. I rang the bell and opened. And there's one of these nuns, flapping. <laughs> terrifying, terrifying, three and a half, four years of age, terrifying. What do you want, little boy? My mummy, my mummy and daddy said, I've got to come here. Yes? Well, if you come here, you've got to be a good little boy. Will you be a good little boy? And I could see past her. And there's a fellow nailed to a cross. <laughs> I thought you're bloody right, I'll be a good little boy. <laughs> First question they asked, what do you know about God? I don't know anything about God. Who? God! <coughs> Who's God? God? You do not know who God is? Sister? Sister, we have an atheist here. <laughs> Let me tell you, little boy. God is, God was, and God always will be. <laughs> what? What he is? What is that? He is the Father, he is the Son, he is the Holy Ghost. He is three in one. Do you understand? I'm four years of age, why wouldn't I? The greatest theological question in the world, three people in one, and I'm naturally, yeah. Where is he? He is here. Well, I can't see him. That doesn't mean because you can't see him that he's not here. It doesn't. He's in the cupboard. He's not in the cupboard. God doesn't go into cupboards. He's under the stairs. He's not under the stairs. He's here with us now. He's upstairs. He's downstairs. He's outside. He's inside. He's everywhere. I think he's a big one. I can't see him. him do you love him I don't know I've never seen him God loves you Thank you. and he wants your love Thank you. but if you do not give him your love he will cast you into everlasting flame what? he will cast you into everlasting flame have you ever burnt yourself I didn't you know, I burnt myself on, on the candle what was it like? Oh, very sad. Sore. Can you imagine that pain all over your body? That's what will happen to you if you do not love God. What do you think of that? I love him. I, I love him! <laughs> then I, was, I asked, who was the fellow on the cross? Jesus. Who's Jesus? He's the Son of God. I've told you. Father, the Son, and Holy Ghost. He's the Son of God. He was born on Christmas Day and died on Easter. I didn't think he didn't hang around, did he? <laughs> what happened to him? He died because of you. <laughs> huh? Christ died on the cross because of your sins. When, when was this? <laughs> it was 2,000 years ago. I'm only four for Christ's sake. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> Did he have a daddy? Of course he had a daddy. I've told you he had a daddy. God was his. Did he have a mummy? Yes, he had a mummy. Mary was his mummy. So God was married to Mary. No, God was not married to Mary. Mary was married to Joseph. Between my parents and the church, the brains have scrambled. <clears throat> I learned to bless myself. First time I learned to bless myself was sadly when my uncle died. 
and he was being buried in a kind of remote part of the Dublin mountains. And it was a real funereal day. The wind was whipping down and rain. And I'm only this big, I'm kind of wandering around between these legs and this black crowd and umbrellas and dripping rain, this bloody hole in the ground. And oh Christ, I didn't know what it was all about. And I'm watching the coffin being lowered into the ground. And I hear the priest say, what I think, in the name of the Father and of the Son and into the hole he goes. <laughs> That's how I blessed myself for years. <laughs> the Father, Son, and into the Holy Ghost. What did you say? The Father, Son, and into the into the Holy Ghost. He goes into the Holy Ghost. He didn't go into the hole. I was there. I saw him. He went into the hole. <laughs> I eventually became a parent. When I this is kind of chronological thing. I became a parent, and one of the things as I became a parent, I, I always believed I would never really become an adult parent. I'd be a parent, but I'd, I'd understand. I'd sympathize with the younger generation. And then one day, I was looking out the window and I saw one of my children hit the other child very hard. <coughs> right in the chest. And the little one went, mm! <laughs> And all my instincts of fair play and paternal instincts came all over and I ran down there. And I go, what do what are you doing? What? What? What do you think? What? What did you? Shut up, you! Keep out of it! I'll deal with this! What did you do? You hit him! You hit your brother! Why? Why did you hit him? I don't like him. You don't like him! You don't like him! You don't like him, so you go around hitting people because you don't like them? I don't like you! How do you like that? How do you like, How do you like that, hey? There's one thing you learn in life. You do not go through life hitting people who are smaller than yourself. <laughs> Amazing thing. I mean, how do they depend on you in certain ways as they're growing up? You have a child of seven or eight. Hey, Daddy, 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 Daddy. Look at me, Daddy, Daddy, watch me. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Come on, Daddy, help me here, Daddy. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Watch me, I'm gonna dive, Daddy. Count, Daddy, Daddy. I'm a good diver, it's a good diver. How many dives? Daddy, how many points do I get for the dive? They want you to be involved with them. They're 12, 13. They're saying things like, hey, I'm worried about the examination. What do you think I should do? Do you think I should, uh, do you think I should kind of stay in and study or do you think I should, oh, what? help me, Daddy, please help me. When you do and you think they're sensible, they get to be 17 or 18. <laughs> You're going out? You're going out? Where are you going? Where are you going? With? What is this bloody inquisition? Do you ever watch them when they hit the fridge? They eat from the fridge. They would never go to the fridge and take food out and bring it back and eat it. They eat from the fridge. And as they eat from the fridge, you watch. Darwin's theory of evolution go into reverse. They go... speak again. <laughs> By Jesus, I can't you with money. Could I, could I borrow a fiver? Yeah. Two weeks later, can I borrow a tenner? You owe me a fiver. Well, give me the tenner, I'll give you a fiver. <laughs> Two weeks later, can I have 20? 
So you owe me a tenner. So you give me a tenner and you give me 20. And it, it works to the point. My son has said to me, can I have a 100 quid? I said, no, you can't. You can't. I'm sick and tired of lending you money. And he says to me, I always pay you back, don't I? <laughs> There's a point where they grow up, too. The girls. There's, a, there's an interesting thing between parents. Ah, fathers and sons and fathers and daughters and mothers and sons and daughters. Interesting. The, uh, the girl will bring the boy home for you to meet. And because you've kind of talked in liberal terms all your life, you have to kind of follow this through. Daddy, uh, I'd like you to meet Paul. Oh, hello, Paul. Hello. <laughs> um, can, I, can I bring Paul in, Daddy? Yeah, of course you can. I can say that. But no, can he stay here? Yeah, of course you can. Stay for dinner. No, no I mean, do you mind if he stays here? What do you mean, stay here? <laughs> well, stays in the house. Does he have a house of his own? Does he, <laughs> why does he have to live here? Because I'd like him to live here. <laughs> well, where's he going to stay? He can stay with me. <laughs> what? <laughs> in your room? And that's it, the bastard's in. <laughs> and they take over. She loved Paul. Paul's an arsehole. <laughs> I come down the He's drinking tea out of my cup. Reading my paper, eating my food, along with the other two in the fridge. <laughs> I'm only that, he's humping my daughter. And I'm out in the garden feeding her bloody rabbit. What should be happening, she should be feeding me, and he should be out in the garden humping the rabbit. That's what it should be. I think, uh, I think, ladies and gentlemen, I think I have to go now. I've been standing here for a very long time. I think the end of the show must have come and gone. <laughs> <clears throat> thank you for listening. You've been very nice to work. Good night. Thank you.